we were in the back and, and very cordial. He shook, shook my hand and introduced him to my fiance. And, and then when we got up front, I guess in front of all the people, you know, he got a little hype and, and got in my face. As me and Daniel were walking towards each other, I knew that it was going to be one of those face-offs when we got right into each other's faces. He came in my, my face and, and he put his forehead against mine and he kind of nudged me forward. I feel as if I met him halfway and um, our foreheads touched each other's and uh, he felt the need to karate chop me in the throat. Um, instinctually, I reacted. That'll never happen. Like, I don't care if it's Mike Tyson or Vladimir Klitschko, the baddest man in the world will never do that to me. It's disrespectful. I just think we both acted really immaturely up there. You know, I, I, I think things just escalated way too fast. Uh, so I definitely want to take the time to apologize to all my fans that I may have let down. Uh, I wanted to apologize to the MGM, um, to the you know to Dana White, to Lorenzo Petita, uh, for for what happened. Well, it's upsetting because it makes me act out of character. You know that's not how I want to carry myself. I don't want my son seeing me fighting in the lobby of a casino, but I also don't want my son sitting there and getting disrespected by anyone. So it's it's like a double-edged sword. You know it's very upsetting. It's very very upsetting. This makes me want the victory even more so. So I'm actually uh, really grateful what happened. Not proud of it, but I'm grateful for it, if that makes sense. I'm not afraid of John Jones in any way, shape, or form. So he's not going to come in there and try and bully me. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, I pushed his ass. Get out of my face. Before the situation, I didn't look at it as being too personal. Um, but, but now it's very personal. He's a little punk. And somebody needs to put him in his place, and I'm going to be the person to do it. He's on Twitter, uh, get some ice for your face. I'm fine. If that is the best you got, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. I can't wait to beat his ass. You know, I'm going to beat his ass. And, I mean, I cannot wait. Nothing's ever going to make me happier than September 27th. This is going to make me train even harder, study even longer, and uh, I think this is going to bring out the best of me. So make sure you guys are staying tuned. September 27th, UFC 178. Uh... Expect fireworks. I expect an extremely dominating performance on my end. I want to give every uh, ounce of me to this performance and uh, make sure you guys are thoroughly entertained.